Hi guys, so I thought I'd do a hamster diet video today. Um, sorry if my voice sounds a bit funny, I've got quite a sore throat, so I'm going to get through this quite quickly. <laughs> so um, yeah, these are all of Peanut Supplies and I'll show you individually um, how much she gets of each and how often. Um, so the first thing is, is, this is his main part of his diet, it's the Muesli Mix. And the one that I give him is the Harry Hamster. And he really likes this one. And um, this is what it looks like. So you get pumpkin seeds, uh, flaked maize, dried grass pellets. And you also get some whole monkey nuts as well, which is really good. And um, so this is his favourite food. I've tried him on like the Burgess one and the pets at home. But he didn't really like them. Um, so I just stick to the Harry Hamster one now. And I've got this scoop. So this is how much food he gets per day. I don't just fill his bowl up. Um, just because hamsters like to store their food and hoard it. So I just give him a little bit each day. Um, so this is about 10 grams of food. Yes, yeah, so I really like the Harry Hamster one. It's probably one of the best ones that you can buy just because um, they don't add a lot of sunflower seeds in there which can make your hamsters fat. Um, so yeah, that is his main part of the diet. And, and as I said, I've tried them on the Burgess one as well. And I used to mix this in with the Harry Hamster. Um, but I noticed that he'd always leave this one and just pick out the Harry Hamster food. So what I do now is just put a tiny little bit in to the main one, just so I don't waste it because I didn't really want to just throw it away. So that is that one. And he also gets some of these as well, which is the Supreme Science Selective Hamster Pellets. Um, and it's with oats and barley. And it has no added sugar and no artificial colourants in there. So I'll just show you what they look like. Let's open the box again. So it's, oh, where are they? There we go. So that's what they look like. And what I do is just put a big handful of them into the Harry Hamster mix and just mix them around. So he'll get about one or two every day. And he really likes these as well. He always picks these ones out. But I wouldn't like to just give him um, just the pellets. I try and give him a big variety of food. Um, and... I'm not really satisfied with just giving him like these pellets like this. So as I said, he just gets one or two of them a day. So that is his main diet. Now on to like the treats and other good stuff. <laughs> so the other things that he has are um, dog treats. And to be honest, he prefers to have dog treats than hamster treats. So he has does have quite a few dog treats and um, so in this jar just open it he has some bonios which he really really likes and the reason why we give hamsters dog treats is for the added <coughs> excuse me sorry for the added protein so I'll give him one of these probably every two weeks um, sometimes I break them down, but other times I just leave them like this. And I think he does have one in his cage at the moment. I'll show you what he looks like. Oh, if I can reach it. So as you can see, I should go out the light. Um, he's really nibbled on that. This is probably one of his favourite treats. So I'll just put that back for him. So you can get these in a big box. For only about £1.50, they're pretty cheap. Um, so I've just got a few in this jar and the rest just go to my dogs as well. Other things that are in here are also these. They're the multi-grain um, little discs. I think these are from Pedigree. The Mate Pedigree. So it's got some um, grains in there, some seeds and some oats. And he really likes these as well. And what I tend to do is just break them up into smaller pieces for him. And he'll probably get one of these every two weeks. 
And what I do with the dog treats is just rotate it around so he doesn't get too many. Um, he usually gets one dog treat a week. So I just store them in a jar just to keep them fresh. And then in this little jar, it's stuck to the jar actually, um, are the Cheesy Bites by Pedigree again. And they come in really small sizes, which is great for hamsters. And they just look like this. Oh, if I can get one out. So it's just a nice size for a hamster. Um, and the cheese flavoured. And he absolutely adores these. <laughs> um, and I give him one or two of these a week. So that's that. And also he has some pedigree milky biscuits. And I've only just recently purchased these. And this is what they look like. So I tried him with one of these a couple of days ago. Um, and he seemed to really enjoyed it. I think he's taken it up into his bed. So yeah, that's another dog treat that you can give your hamster as well. And for added protein as well, you can also give your hamster mealworms. Some dried mealworms. But Peanut really doesn't like these. Um, that's why I've still got a full jar. Um, what I tend to do as well is put about four to five teaspoons of it into the Harry Hamster food. And mix it all around. But he always leaves them. So I don't really bother giving, giving them to him. I usually just give them to the gerbils instead. Okay, so these are Peanut's treats. As you can see, he doesn't have very many just because... Um, I don't really want a fat hamster <laughs> um, but he does as I said he likes his dog treats so he does get them more often than he does like these sort of treats so the first thing he's got are the wild berry drops by pets at home and these are suitable for rabbits guinea pigs rats mice and hamsters um, and he probably gets one of these every two weeks just because there is a lot of sugar in these as you can see one of the first ingredients if my camera focuses is various sugars so he's got the wild berry drops and he's also got the apple drops as well by pets at home i've that, had these for quite a long time and i've still got a full bag anyway um other treats that he has are the fenugreek crunches by the naturals range and what I do with these is half them into like little bite-sized pieces for him. And he loves these. Um, these are suitable for all small pets. So all my pets get these as well. Um, he's also got some banana chips. These are probably his favourite treat. And I half these or quarter them as well. He probably gets one every two weeks. So those are his treats. As I said, he doesn't have very many. Just because he likes his dog treats more than normal hamster treats. So another thing that Peanut gets is some fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, but he gets these very sparingly just because it can cause diarrhoea. So as you can see here, I cut up little pieces of strawberry. They can also have grape, banana, apple, pear, stuff like that. Um, I cut them up into small pieces and I'll probably get one piece this size per week. And they can also have some fresh vegetables as well. So this is just cut up carrot into small little cubes. Um, it's a good source of vitamins but carrot is high in sugar so you should give carrot to your hamster very sparingly. Um, you can also give them stuff like kale, um, bits of cabbage, um, spring greens, yeah, stuff like that. But I will put a list in the down bar for you of what you can give your hamster. Um, and the last thing what I give him to him very, very sparingly is little small pieces of cheese. Um, this is just mild, ch mild cheddar cheese. And he'll get one of these cubes like this probably once every three weeks. Um, you should never give your hamster too much cheese. Um, he does absolutely love cheese. But 
as I said, it can cause um, stomach upset, upsets and diarrhea and can make your hamster fat as well if you give them too much. Um, so yeah, that's the size of the cube that I give him once every three weeks and it is just mild cheddar cheese. So yeah, that's all the things that he has. Um, any questions, just comment down below. Um, thanks for watching the video. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you soon guys. Bye.